Camsys Magic Q Tutorial 7 Editing Cues. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit cues in different ways. I've got a Magic Q show with a very simple patch. We have four Roby Spot 1200s and four Roby Wash 575s. So I'll go to my layout one. You can see I've got a group for my spots and my washes. I'm going to start by making a cue stack using my spot 1200s. So I select my group of spot 1200s, locate, record that as the first step in the cue stack. Change the colour to red, and I'm going to change the position, tilt it up a bit, and then record that as my second cue in the cue stack. I'm then going to change the colour again, make another position change, And I'm going to fan the exposition apart and record that as Q3. So you can see I've now got three cues on this cue stack. I'm going to clear the program. And then what I'm going to do is double click on the S button and change the timing to Q timing. So that instead of a chase, it's a Q timing. You can see now if I activate that Q stack, that is the first step. That's the second step. And that's the third step. So I'm now going to deactivate that queue stack. Now to look at the data within a queue, you can go to the queue window. So you put the cursor, for example, on the first queue here, and then press View Queue. And this shows the queue data. So you see in this queue that the dimmer is at 100%, and cyan, magenta, and yellow are all at zero, which is giving out one. I can then use the next and the previous buttons to look at the different cues in the cue stack. So at the moment I'm looking at cue 1, I press next cue, and now I'm looking at cue 2. And you can see that in this cue, it's red. If I go to the next cue, it's green. You can directly edit the values in this window if you want. For example, I could go into this box here and just change the dimmer to 50% instead of 100% change it back to 100%. However, changing the data in this view can be quite intensive if you've got lots of fixtures. So I'm going to show you several different methods for editing the queue. I'm going to close this window and then first of all I'm going to show you the include and update method for editing queues. I'm going to start by editing the third queue in this queue stack I've made. And to do that, I'm going to include the third queue into the programmer. So I go and I select Include, and then I'm going to type 3 for Q3, and press the S button. You can see in the status bar, it's now told me that it's included QID3, and in the visualizer you can see that it's got the queue in the programmer, which is green. If I look in the programmer window, you can see that you've got all the data in this window, including the green, that you would have done when I first recorded this queue. So including a queue is like bringing the whole queue back into the programmer. I'm now going to make a change to this queue in the programmer. So I go to my normal layout one, and I'm going to change the color to magenta. Now at the moment, this has just changed the data in the programmer. In order to update back to the queue, we have to press the update button. So that's now updated the queue. I'm going to clear the programmer and then run the sequence. So that's our first queue, that's our second queue, and then this is our third queue, which was green but is now magenta. So that's the first editing method, including and updating. You take the whole of the queue into the programmer, modify it in the programmer, and then update back to the queue. The next method I'm going to show you is merging. So this time, instead of including the queue into the programmer, what we're going to do is we're going to override it in the programmer and then merge that change into the queue. So at the moment that queue is magenta, so I'm going to select the spots and then I'm going to change it to blue. So now in the programmer we've got the blue colour. If I show you the programmer window, we've only got colour attributes in the programmer, the blue, 
what we're going to do is we're going to merge that directly into this Q stack. Now if you had a magic Q wing, you can do that by holding the S button and pressing the record key. As we don't have a wing connected at the moment, I'm just going to use a shortcut, which is pressing record followed by update. So record followed by update just record merges into the current queue of the selected queue stack. So now I can clear the programmer and I can show you when I run this queue stack that my queue is now changed to blue. So I've merged directly into that third queue. It is possible to merge into multiple queues at the same time. So for example, if I go back to my spots, I'm going to pick just my first spot, spot number one, by pressing the next head button, and then I'm going to select yellow. And I'm going to merge this time into two queues at the same time. In order to do this, I'm going to select shift and record. And this gives me merge options, and I'm going to select record merge, and then type on the keypad one plus three. So I'm going to record into queues one and three on this queue stack. It tells me its programmer is being merged. I clear the programmer, and now as I run this sequence, you see that the first queue has got my yellow in it, second queue hasn't been changed, and the third queue has got my yellow in it as well. So I merged into queues one and three at the same time. You can use the through or plus or minus to select different queues in the queue stack. We can also remove information from queues using the record remove method. Before we start doing record remove, we clear the programmer. Otherwise, we may remove items that we want to keep. So we press the clear button. Then we're going to select our spots. And I'm going to press next head to select just spot one. I'm then going to put into the programmer some colour information for spot one, just green in this case. You can see that I've just got some colour information for the one spot head number one. Now it doesn't matter exactly what the data is in terms of its value, it just needs to be in the programmer. So when I then record remove it, magic you will take it out of the queue stack. I'm going to do shift and record and then record remove and I'm going to press the S button here. In this case magic you asked me do I want to remove from the entire queue stack or just from the current queue. I'm going to remove this color information from the entire queue stack and then clear the programmer. So now you see that the fixture has the same color, which is just the last color I was using, yellow, in each of those queues. If I show you in the queue window, you can see that there is no color window. You can see that there are no color attributes for this spot number one. They've been removed completely from the queue. This is the record remove. It is possible to get this information back into the queue. For example, what I could do is I could copy the information from head 2 to head 1 in all of the queues. And I'll show you how to do this. So, first of all, we're going to select Shift and Copy to get the advanced copy options. And then we're going to select Copy Heads. I'm going to select 2 at 1. So I'm copying from head 2 to head 1. And then I'm going to select the item to copy the heads in, which is this queue stack, and select the entire queue stack. And you can see now that I've copied from head 2 to head 1 in each of the queues. So if I run the queue stack again, my queue stack is back to how it was before. And that's a simple copying from one head to another within a queue stack. Now I'm going to show you how to merge in a complete set of other fixtures into the queue stack. So I'm going to go and select my wash lights. I'm going to locate those and I'm going to put them in a color and I'll change the position so that we can see them a little bit better. There. I'm now going to record that into each of the three queues. So I'm going to do shift and record. Select record merge. Press the S button. 
and select the entire queue stack. If I clear the programmer, now you'll be able to see that each of those three queues has got washers in it. I show you the queue information and see that the queues now have the spots and the washers. Step through the queues and see that all three queues have both the spots and the washers. So that's an introduction to editing of queues. For further info, please visit www.camsys.co.uk.